So welcome to my video on subtracting decimals. And the one thing you have to remember for subtracting decimals, and this is the same for adding decimals, is that they must be in a straight line. So when you're subtracting two decimal numbers, you need to make sure that the decimal points are in a straight line. So here we have 18.01 subtracted by 2.953. So let's set these two numbers up so we can subtract them. We have 18.01 being subtracted by 2.953. And notice how the two decimals are exactly in a straight line. They're right on top of one another. So that's the really important thing that you have to remember to do. So now I'm just going to draw a line with my subtraction symbol to show that we're subtracting these two numbers. And one more thing that I like to do when subtracting decimals is I like to have the same number of units to the right of the decimal in both numbers. So notice in 2.953 we have three units to the right of the decimal and 8.01 we only have two units to the right of the decimal. So I'm going to add a trailing zero so they both have three units to the right of the decimal. 18.01 is exactly the same as 18.010. So now let's start subtracting these two numbers. We'll start all the way to the right. We have 0 minus 3. Since the 0 is smaller than the 3, we need to borrow from a number to the left. We can't borrow from the 1 because the 1 is smaller than the 5. We can't borrow from the 0 because the 0 is smaller than the 9. So the first number where we can borrow from is the 8. So I'm going to take 1 away from the 8 and put 7. Now I have to add 1 directly to the right. Now I need to keep on going because we need to add 1 to our last digit. So I'm going to take 1 away from the 10. So that becomes a 9 and add 1 directly to the right. Once again we need to add 1 all the way to our digit to the right. So I'm going to take away 1 from the 11 which becomes 10 and add 1 directly to the right. So now we have a 10, which is bigger than the 3. So now we can subtract these two numbers. 10 minus 3 is 7. To the left, we have 10 minus 5, which is just 5. Then we have 9 minus 9, which is just 0. Our decimal point still stays exactly in a straight line. So I'm just going to move the decimal point straight down. Then we have 7 minus 2, which is just 5 and 1 minus nothing, which is just 1. So we have a final answer of 15.057. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.